everybody, it's Anna. Time for the Wednesday card in this week's tarot story. Today we have our second major arcana card for the week, and it is the Chariot Reversed. Not only is this a major arcana card, but it's actually a number seven card, and we had a seven card yesterday. We had the seven of swords. As I said yesterday, the seven is about making wise choices. It's about discernment. And so I feel like this card, so we got a seven yesterday, a seven today. I feel like the message this week is about being intentionable, intentional and purposeful about how we are setting our path. If we turn this upright, we see this card shows the charioteer in his chariot. He's not moving right now. He's, he's looking out across the field, I believe, because he's choosing. This is the seven card. It's about taking the time to surface wisdom. So, um, so the, a large part of this lesson is about waiting until you know where you want to go. So he doesn't hold reins in his hands. And I think that's significant because there are two beasts of burden here, but they are not going to respond to his willpower. They're not going to respond to the reins. They're responding to his energetic field, his energetic patterns. They're going to sense when he's ready. And I think that's important because I think they are sort of representing the universe here. The universe responds to our energetic fields, right? So as we make a choice, as we feel ourselves sliding into clarity, sliding into purpose, sliding into um, intention, the universe hears that and begins to move in concert with that. Now, I also connect this card with joy and the gift of joy. And that's because um, joy is really probably the highest vibration we can hold as human beings. And joy is so deeply connected and resonant with the soul, the soul's guidance, that when we are moving in joy, you can almost guarantee that you are in alignment with the soul. So that's how you can make the wisest choices. If you're trying to move in alignment with your soul, then you move in joy. So I feel like what he's doing, he's surfacing his joy. He's waiting for the joy to come. When it comes, he will follow that joy he will pick his destination based on that joy. These two creatures will suddenly leap to his direction and the, as the universe will. And the chariot's a powerful, uh, a powerful tool of momentum. Once it's moving, it's pretty unstoppable. And I think, again, this connects to the, the nature of joy, which has a really high vibration and is a really powerful fuel for moving us forward. It not only has its own fuel, but it inspires, it draws other joy around it and draws more fuel. So once we are moving in joy, we are, we are really kind of an unstoppable force. Um, this one came to us reversed. And that suggests to me that maybe we need to be a bit, intent, bit more intentional about asking what gives us joy and maybe having to wait for that, for the response a little bit longer. It could be like we had the seven of swords yesterday, right? We talked about mindsets, choosing mindsets. Well, if we have been in mindsets that are responsive to other people, other people's desires, their expectations, or responsive to our, to our feeling of responsibility or obligations, then those are, those are not bad questions to have, but they're not directly connected to joy for many of us which means that we have been sort of oriented to a certain kind of motivation. And we are trying now to start shit, to disinvest from that a bit and to reinvest into the question about joy. So you may discover you have to actively sort of pull out of, of this one way of, of making decisions, um, making decisions and surfacing this new kind of wisdom. And again, this feels like it might be in concert with the seven of swords. Your mind might be kind of stuck in a particular pattern of, of thinking and moving that we need to help your mind, like let go of those old tools. What are the new tools that, that help you surface joy and help your mind become your ally in surfacing joy? So I think the reversal is just saying, you know, you might not have the answer to what gives you joy yet. Um, you may not even be sure quite how to do it just yet. So, so take your time. It's worth taking your time to sort of clean up your tool chest from yesterday to get your mind a good space. It's worth the time to wait until joy surfaces. Once it surfaces, it's pretty powerful. So do whatever you got to do to clear the path out so that joy can, can come aground. See you tomorrow for our next card. Bye.